Afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are talking about this 2014 Bailey Approach coach built motorhome that came to us uh, with this. Um, it was really knackered uh, to the point that the powder coating had come off and it looked really scabby uh, but also it just didn't work. We managed to get one of the um, views to work um, but it had just seemed better days. So what we have done for this customer is supply and install a new motorhome white powder coated PAL dual lens reversing camera and we have routed a new cable from the camera all the way to the front and then connected it up to a new screen. The old screen was usable but because of the fact the type of connectors that it had didn't feature the yellow phonos which is what we need to normally or a composite connector which is how we connect to the camera. Uh, if I'd had the monitor I would have showed you actually the connectors and everything else, but it was never gonna work because of the fact it was old technology with new. I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyway, it helps. So more importantly is we have converted the old camera to this new dual white lens camera. It is older technology, so if you're watching this, and we're all spoiled these days with the quality of what we see in modern vehicles, you're never going to get that on in a motorhome unless you're going for maybe our advanced 360 system which is uh, full HD camera and a much much better quality. This is really low res quality stuff because of the fact that it's a dual lens quality, a dual lens camera and there aren't many available on the market unless you go AHD but if you go AHD you then have to have a more expensive camera, a more expensive monitor and it starts to get silly. Anyway join me inside the motorhome and we'll show you what the views look like. Right, sat in the vehicle and you can see this is the universal rear seven inch mirror monitor and they call it a mirror monitor because of the fact that it normally fits either on the rear view mirror or in the position of a rear view mirror. If this particular windscreen didn't have a rear view mirror, we could use a universal stalk and we can stick it to the glass. If your motorhome has got a little round black cap but no rear view mirror, we can then sell or fit a specific stalk that will allow us to then fit one of our monitors too. So there are two types, clip-on and stalk. 
So ultimately, this is one of the many variants. They all look the same. They're probably from similar factories um, in Asia, but more importantly is they offer a simple dual AV output. So when I put the key in the ignition, the monitor will come on and default to AV2. Uh, and AV2 is your normal driving view. Now, it's a bit of a overcast, low light day today, so it's not great. So that combined with technology that is quite dated, but the image is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, we're, like I said earlier, outside, we're, we're all sport these days with some really good high resolution display on all these modern vehicles. But more importantly, when these guys are reversing, you can now see what's behind you. You don't need to have anything in gear or having to select reverse gear for it to change. When they want the reversing mode, they just hit the button like so. These monitors can also um, feature where you can pop it into reverse gear. And when you pop it into reverse gear, you can see this. It's not everyone's cup of tea, so this particular one has just been set up, nothing to do with the gearbox, uh, and that's set up for the bike rack and reversing. Now, what we've done here is we've lined the this facing camera, AV1, up to the bottom of the bumper. So there's no way that you'll be able to hit anything because you're gonna see it's in line with the back of the fairing on the, on the actual motorhome itself. So that's the reversing view and then switch back to your main view and that just will show you what's going on behind and that's absolutely perfect. So in this motorhome, just to recap, came into us with a really old scabby dual lens camera and we have supplied and fitted a new one. It's PAL, not NTSC. If you're unsure what that means and why you might need it, then get in touch with us. We can supply and install this for you, but we need to route a new cable. We have done in many occasions uh, try to um, save money by uh, not save money, not for us, but save money for the customer because of course it takes a long time for us to route the cabling through, um, but it just doesn't work. We're better off just supplying and fitting the whole new shooting match and we've done the same with this monitor as well because we couldn't utilize the old one. I um, would hate for any of you out there to try this yourself, get all the cabling to the front and then realize that you can't interact or interface with the new, with the, with the existing monitor. Um, 2014 Bailey Autograph uh, coach built motorhome. It doesn't matter what you've got, you'll either have a single or a dual lens camera. If it's failed, then get in touch with us and we can give you a quote. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family and thanks for watching.